What's up, my homie Jay's? It's Sparkle G. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, today we're actually talking about a very important thing. We are going to be talking about how to get good grades and how to get into college. Here is the number one important thing. Do not uh, procrastinate. Like right now, I'm trying to finish my homework and the term ends in freaking two days. Three days. Three days. Man, I got some bad grades and I'm trying to fix it up, but my teachers are being a little pissy about it because I freaking just understand I'm a busy man. I got football, I got work. I don't got any other time. I got I got some like five minutes to do other things, but it's okay because I got time to do this, right? <clears throat> yeah, you already know. Also, another way to get good grades is just be friends with the smart people. Because if you're friends with the smart people, they're not going to go out when you should be doing homework. They're going to do homework. And if you do go out, you guys are going to be doing homework. So you'll get a good grade because you're actually doing your homework. Which really works out for the both of you because you guys both get good grades. And if he uh, helps you learn a little just jazz and tricks, then you'll get good grades on the test too. Which is very hard for us boys and girls in on the high school age i know you parents be like guys it's just school you guys don't know it. do you even know what freaking two plus two is mom no you know what one plus one is but you do not know what two plus two is because two plus two equals six i don't think you knew that did you Another thing you should also probably think about if, if you do sports, you're not going to have a high it's greater point average is the normal human race because, you know, especially if you do football, you get knocked in the head a lot, so you get very, uh, very interesting. I'm pretty sure people have more concussions in that game than you think. Okay, so... <gasps> If you play sports, you got to make sure you keep on track. So if you if you really need to, take a tutoring class to get you to do your homework in so then you don't have to do the homework at home and you can always have help. Because sometimes, uh, as I said, your parents cannot help with your homework because 2 plus 2 equals 6. Okay? Okay. Go to bed early during the school days because if you know you stay up till 1 in the morning texting some girl or some boy if you're a girl or a boy... You're gonna freaking die in the morning and fall asleep in every class like I do every day. I did not just say that, but mom, just pretend you didn't hear that. I did not sleep in every class every single day. But anyways, let's just just sleep, sleep, and then if you have enough credits, take a first period off so you can sleep in and get your sleep caught up. You gotta be a homie G with the teachers. Don't be some stupid A that's like, Hey, I hate you guts. I hate you talking trash on him. No, I'll be like, Hey, yo, you're my homie. You gonna hook me up with an A or what? And they'll just, they'll actually, they'll actually hook you up with an A. It's amazing. I don't even know, but it works. So just be like the class clown that's actually funny. It works. I know from experience. Okay, now... Let's get into the real business. When you take your notes, actually review your notes that you have taken. I have taken notes before, and I never went back to them before. But now, I know that I need to review those notes and study them to get an A on the test. Especially if you want to get a good thing on the ACT instead of a 14. Well, guys, those are just some tips that you can do to get a better grade point average, like a 4.0 instead of a 1.5, okay? Just raise your level up here instead of down here on my chin, okay? You got it? You got it. Like, subscribe, comment, watch my last video, learn how to make some breadsticks, okay? Peace out!